Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one and only the Hobo Tom. Because Dr. Tom made such terrible predictions. Oh, there's my cat. She's just leaving the, 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 the office right now. I'm going to make my own predictions. The two wrestling events coming up. One on Saturday. That's going to be Fight for the Fallen by AEW. As well as... Figure out, figure out stuff. Oh, I just wrote stuff down. Uh-oh. As well as Extreme Rules, presented by WWE. So let's get started, folks. The first one. First set of predictions. Predictions! Where did that voice come from? Um, it's going to be for Fight for the Fallen, because that is going to be held up in Jacksonville. I didn't want to go there mainly because I think of the logistics cost. It's about an hour and a half away from my house. Then you have to pay for gas, parking, food, the event, which which even like the really high seats were like fifty bucks, and it was in a weird auditorium. I wasn't exactly. I I kind of know where it is. I also know, based on my experience from when they from when AEW came to Daytona Beach, the parking situation was terrible. I know there's a one big parking garage up in Jacksonville. I don't necessarily want to walk. I think it was about five or six Jacksonville city blocks to go park and try to figure out a way out of the city then. So I just said, you know what, I'll, I'll just watch it free like everyone else. And if anyone, else does, was, ever, if anyone else does want to watch it for free, you can always feel free to email, email me or check out my center myself here or, or check out my live stream RRR show on it Again, probably I'll get to it. I think the show starts at 7.30. So I'm going to probably jump on about 7. going to have my chicken cordon blue sub. Should I do that? No, that's just, that's just really simple. I don't know. Maybe I'll... I don't know. I'll figure something out. I know I haven't made a... I haven't put a good how to cook something in a while. But again, I haven't had anything. Maybe I'll show you how to make turkey sausage gravy breakfast stuff. Maybe. No. I don't know. I'm doing Frito burritos for Triple Mania. Wow, I haven't done anything really creative in a while. Pork sliders. What am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted by stuff. So fight for the fallen. This guy, Hobo Tom, will be here. Probably about, probably, I know definitely before 7.30. I might be on about 7, 7.15-ish. Figure something out. And that's going to be this Friday. Oh, this Saturday the 13th. Again, it's up in Jacksonville for logistic reasons. I'm like, nah, I don't want it. Why can't I center myself today? This is weird. But <laughs> having a whole bunch of minor issues. Trust me, I've had much more greater technical difficulties in the past. But enough about this. Let's talk about the first. Let's talk about the fight for the fallen. Oh, wait. Before I do that. Let's see here. Um, forget. I have a shout out to give. Again, if you'd like a, your own personalized shout out, you can get it one of three ways. One, subscribe, but you have to be public to subscribe. So I can say whose name to shout out to. You always leave a comment on any of my shows or chat with me during my live stream shows. And then the third way is that you can always send me an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. So, Kefla Blue, 
This six count is dedicated for you. So with all that being said, I thought I actually put that on top of my nose for a change. So probably on the buy-in show, they're all elites going all in with this casino, this casino theme of instead of calling it a pre-show, it's called a buy-in, which is what you do in poker. You kind of buy in, you buy into a certain pot. Down you put a hundred bucks down and get say 20 red chips but whatever it is yeah because reds red equals five five times 20 is 100 yeah my math is still good so this will be interesting to see if they kind of carry this theme throughout so the first match and i'm gonna I, oh i have to make this card i have time to make the card either tonight or tomorrow so i think in the buy it's going to be sunny kiss versus peter avalon I've seen Sunny Kiss as um, Bootylicious in AEW. He's pretty good. Uh, Peter Allen's the librarian, along with Le and Leva Bates will be in this corner. I've never seen Peter Avalon wrestle. I've seen Sunny Kiss as Bootylicious. Again, if you'd like to see Sunny Kiss wrestle, you can go check out some of my archived videos I've about Lucha Underground. I'll say, there, let me start to write this down too. This is going to be, um, my brain lost. Brain leave a Bates lost before. Sunny Kiss will win. Sunny Kiss. Then next in the bind, we have a six man tag action. We have Joey Janela, Jimmy Havoc, and Darby Allen. Versus Sean Spears, MJF, and Sammy Guevara. No lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. Wait a second. 
This is like the loser locker room. <laughs> this is the loser locker room of AEW. Only because Sean Spears, a.k.a. Ty Dillinger from WWE, is on that team. I'll say Sean Spears, the team of Sean Spears, MJF, and Sammy Guevara are going to win. Shoot. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Then we have the women's match, Brandy Rhodes versus Allie. Allie was not in a good match the last time I saw her. I've never seen Brandy Rhodes. I've seen excerpts of Brandy wrestling. Nothing terrific. Um, Allie won the last. Allie was kind of a fill-in here. So this is going to be my snooze match. Snooze. Based on Allie's past performance. It's going to be the match of the night. William Dustin. Mm. Okay. So I'll say... I don't know. Brandy Rhodes might put herself over. Allie won last time. If I say Brandy Rhodes will win, I probably won't be caring. I'll probably be refreshing my adult beverage by then. Or I'll be playing Candy Crush while listening to this. So I'll say Brandy Rhodes. That's going to be my snooze match. And we have Hangman Page versus Kip Sabian. I think I've seen Kip Sabian wrestle once. I know who Hangman Page is. So very simply, and my Stone Cold Lock of the Night. It's going to be Hagman Page. Stone Cold Lock. And probably in the match of the night. Match of the night. SoCal Uncensored versus the Lucha Brothers. One last time. Lucha Brothers have had a losing streak in AEW. So called censored loss, but they didn't need to win, though. So I think the Lucha Brothers are going to win. And that should be pretty good. And again, that's my match of the night. And we have Kenny Omega versus Steema. They're pushing Steema hard. But it's Kenny Omega, though. Kenny Omega's going to win. But as a bonus. John Moxley's going to come out and beat up Kenny Omega. It's time to beat up Kenny Omega. You're going to clean up the cleaner. And then, probably for the main event, we have the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth. Matt and Nick Jackson take on Cody and Dustin Rhodes, the Rhodes boys. Young Bucks. Wow. I wouldn't flip a coin, but the only thing I have it's the same on both sides. I even forget where I found one in the parking lot. Um, I'll say... Oh. Young Bucks have been winning a lot. Young Bucks win. And they're going to force Cody just to be truly a man to roll. Dustin, I don't think he'll show up anymore. Um, he might be at... Oh, what's that big one? Shoot. It's not double or nothing. 
Is it all out? I think all out. The next one in Chicago in August. So we'll see what happens. So very quickly, I have Sunny Kiss over Peter Avalon, the team of Sean Spears, MJF, and Sammy Guevara. In the snooze match, Andy Rose is winning. My Stone Cold Lock is going to be Hangman Page. And my match of the night is going to be the Lucha Brothers over SoCal and Censored. Kenny Omega defeats Sigma. Probably a really good match. And then the Young Bucks defeat Cody and Dustin Rhodes with a bonus of a John Moxley showing up. So that was Fight for the Fallen. So, ooh, I haven't done this in a while. Let's take a break. And now let's switch gears. And let's talk about some extreme rules. Wow, they have a lot. There's a lot of wrestling. I've been to a lot of wrestling recently. A lot of took a day off. You took it, yeah. I don't know, wait, yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to look at my calendar trying to figure out what I've been doing. So extreme rules. Um, I think on the pre-show is unfortunately going to be Drew Gulak versus Tony Nese. They always have the cruiser weights on the pre-show. So, Drew Gulak's the champion. Drew Gulak going to remain champion. Let's see here. Snooze of the night. No, not that one. Ooh. That's going to be, wow, that's terrible. Oh, wow, that is going to be terrible. What's my stone cold lock, though? Oh, I know what my stone cold lock is. Okay. So then the next match, probably on the pre-show again. You know, that was going to kick off the show. I think I saw this. I think I heard this. I think from Wikipedia when I looked it up. Normally I use CBS Sports to figure out stuff, but... Or other shows. But we have the Revival versus the Usos. Keeps this title. They keep their titles. That's a toss. Might win. The Revival is going to retain their titles. Yeah, I can't see that many titles switching hands, and I already have a couple titles switching hands. The Revival is going to win. I'm going to go over the Usos. Then next we have a triple threat tag team match. Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus the New Day. Versus the New Day! Versus Heavy Machinery. Otis the Tall. They're really pushing them. <sighs> New Day. New Day could have a really fun, goofy feud with Heavy Machinery. Is that why Daniel Bryan channel? But then what's wrong going to be? Summer Slam. Summer. I'm trying to think too. <sighs> this is tough. I'll say the new day. No, because they might need to. I'm not gonna have him pinned. This is tough. Daniel Bryan and Rowan. I'll I'll stick with the incumbent champions. They'll retain their belt. Then we have Alistair Black versus Cesaro. Alistair Black's winning. He has he hasn't had a match in so long. Oh, this could almost be match of the night too, but probably won't be. Then we have Braun Strowman versus the Almighty Bobby Lashley in a false count anywhere match. Bobby Lashley's look way too strong, and they might go back to their Braun push. So we need some faces to win. So I'll say Braun Strowman wins. And then in... Ooh, that's right. The match of the night! 
It's going to be the one and only pew pew, Ricochet versus the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. This is the match of the night. I say AJ Styles is going to win. That'll just be something. It's going to be a tremendous match either way. And, yep, that sounds about right. Let's see your heel, 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 face, face, heel. So then. Um, in the handicap match for the Women's SmackDown Championship, we have Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I have Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross winning. I just don't like Bailey. It's, <laughs> it's that simple. Um, she, does, she, she doesn't do it for me. She's kind of bland as a champion. It would be then interesting to see the dynamic between Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, and that way Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross could have something to do for SummerSlam. Bailey could then team back up with Sasha Banks and do something for the women's tag team titles, which aren't even on this show. So I'll say Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Oh, I just want him to win. And then for the WWE Championship, we have Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. That's not music. Samoa Joe is going to win the belt. And then probably in the snooze of the night. We have The Undertaker and Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. This is going to be nap time. Uh, the Undertaker and Roman Reigns are going to win. And then in a winner-take-all match, it's Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Put their belts on the line versus Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. And if Seth or Becky loses, they all lose. So this is my stone cold lock of the night. And that's going to be Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch will retain their title. I just hope they stop doing couple stuff because, or, or they could keep it going until the next mix match challenge. Only because I can't see Baron Corbin wearing the strap, and Lacey Evans doesn't really deserve it. And is there going to be a bonus feature? No bonus. <laughs> Would be. <laughs> It would be funny if Maria Canella says Seth, Seth Rollins, the father of the baby. That would just be a minor irritation. Not even near a bonus. And so, just to recap Extreme Rules, um, Drew Gulak goes over Tony Nese, the Revival. Somehow beat the Usos. Daniel Bryan and Rowan retain their championship. Alistair Black wins his pay-per-view pay Pay-per-view debut. Hey, that five times fast. AJ Styles defeats Ricochet in the match of the night. Braun Strowman defeats Bobby Lashley. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross are co-SmackDown Women's Champions. Samoa Joe. Destroys Kofi Kingston because Samoa Joe is so good when he's getting the title. 
Uh, the Undertaker and Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. I'll stick through that match. So I'll just say Undertaker and Roman Reigns. And my Stone Cold Lock, there's no way in heck that Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch are losing their titles to Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. Not happening. So Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch win. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, you can always share your share your opinions. You leave a comment um, during either show. Again, fight for the fall is going to be. I'll probably be on spot yeah, sometime between seven and seven thirty. I'll start. That's on Saturday, and then on Sunday is going to be WWE Extreme Rules. So we'll see what happens. Um, whoa, in memory, because unfortunately. Uh, a really good friend passed away, and I didn't really know how to voice anything because cause I was a crying jumble of stuff. But I tried. And a little memorial. Or in memoria.